We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Going to be good. We have Alicia Fox versus Stephanie McMahon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Florida, Alicia Fox. It's singles matches that make me thankful to be part of WWE. Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out as this one gets underway in mere moments. And her opponent, accompanied by Triple H from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. Oh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost guarantee it. You know, I'd love coming back here to Atlanta if Cole didn't remind me every time that this is where he won at WrestleMania 27 on a technicality, by the way. When you step in the ring against Stephanie McMahon, it is the textbook definition of a lose-lose situation. The former women's champion is a majority stockholder in WWE, a WWE executive, the wife of the CEO of Triple H, and on top of that, a shrewd competitor. Remember, lose-lose. Well, neither one of these competitors has a lot of love for the other. That's going to become clear right about now. Mono a mono. What ball will decide it? Well, regardless, we are underway and rolling on another great WWE event. Let's quickly talk about Stephanie McMahon for a moment. She certainly hasn't won over many fans, but you know what? I don't think she really cares. She's certainly a force, Michael. But you have to remember who she's in the ring there with. Neither of these girls are pushovers. That's for sure. I don't know. I don't put too much stock in how these people react. Once the bell rings, you have to shut them out anyway and focus on your opponent. King, you have to be careful not to let that stunning smile of Alicia Fox's fool you. She's not even close to as innocent as she appears. Oh, you got that right, Cole. Alicia Fox is as cunning as she is gorgeous. And that's a dangerous combination, if you ask me. think during her pre-match preparation she expected that. What is her pre-match preparation, Cole? A bad spot here for Stephanie McMahon. This is not how she drew this one up. Listen, you and I both know that she's not going to go down without a fight. Yeah, and these women are so evenly matched. I don't think either one has proven their dominance yet. Well, King, you used the word cunning to describe Alicia Fox earlier. I'd say that assessment is extremely politically correct of you. I'd say shrewd, deceptive, and deceitful are a bit more accurate. Really? Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox is making full use of this open moment. Sweat's starting to form on Alicia Fox's brow. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. Let me interject this. When you have two divas as evenly matched as these two are, there's no way to predict what's going to happen. Agreed. And these women have been pretty evenly matched thus far. Man, she's making it look easy here. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. 
I don't think there's a diva in that locker room that would disagree with your take on Alicia Fox, Cole. But you know what? Being shrewd, deceptive, and deceitful is a lot more the reason why she was WWE's first ever African-American Divas Champion. Stephanie McMahon, no problem getting out of that one. Action outside. Okay, once you get outside the ring, anything can happen. Yeah, and it usually does. Over the years, I've seen more careers come to an abrupt end outside of the ring than I can remember. This area is so dangerous. The official continuing his count toward 10. Wait a minute! And she escapes the hole. Now back to the ring. And there's the reversal. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for a 10 count. What type of competitor is favored when you step outside the ropes, King? Well, in my opinion, the more vicious, the more destructive person that's willing to do absolutely anything to hurt his opponent, regardless of the consequences, he has the advantage. Stephanie is able to get out of the way. Nice move. And she pulls a new trick from her bag with that one. Can she keep her down? Maybe. I don't know how much more of this kind of damage she can take. Seems like Alicia Fox is starting to lose steam. Her opponent's clearly getting the best of her here. But the big story here is that her finisher hasn't finished anything, despite being executed twice already. You said it. And I can't believe her two finishers didn't end this thing already. Back in 2011, the city of Atlanta hosted one of the biggest events in sports entertainment history, WrestleMania 27. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like that. I love when a diva experiments. Alicia's going to take a minute here to run her mouth. Alicia Fox with the offense. She looks unbeatable tonight. Alicia Fox looking totally exhausted. She's definitely starting to feel the pressure here, guys. Oh, Michael, she's one of my favorite divas. She's so good at being bad. There we go again. Yep, there we go again. And again, and again. Turning it around, it's Alicia Fox with the reversal. Alicia Fox has found an answer here. She is really putting her stamp on this match now. Stephanie McMahon, no problem getting out of that one. Stephanie McMahon, she learned this one from her husband. Cole, will she win it here? I think so. Man gets the win. Here's your winner, Stephanie McMahon. 
Wow. Big win right there. Alicia Fox isn't going to earn much respect with losses like that. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smickety smack the like button, punch the favorite, and click up a steel chair and whack that subscribe button. And if a light bulb goes off in your head and an idea for a match comes in there, please put a scribble down below. And please stay tuned for more upcoming videos from me, Untainted SKS. And thank you for watching this match.